a lot of flaws and issues in the commentary community. I'll be talking about a very common problem and that one being generic and repetitive content. If you look at both of these videos, you will assume they're from the same content creator, right? No. This is from Taxwag and this is from the Sap. Two different content creators and the only difference is the Sap being an ear piercing content creator and yellow tags. Videos like these are a problem in the community and the majority of it brings nothing new to the table. Constantly making topics that are either related to the Dream SMP members or that vegan teacher. We get it, like that that vegan teacher is bad. Dream SMP is bad, but saying the same shit over and over again just makes you as bad as them. Constantly making hate videos on obvious trolls doesn't do shit because all you do is feeding the trolls and giving them attention. Instead of milking the same topics again, why not make a video about something where not many has talked about? Which is what I'm not doing considering there is a shit ton of people. Even if you want to make a video on the same topic, at least make it stand out and unique. Take the Sep for example. He stands out because he's the ear piercing content creator that we all know about. Except he stands out in a bad way. Alright man, welcome back to yet again another video on the channel. And uh, today I'm going to go down to the Remember this Lazo and this Pyrocynical incident? Literally everyone were jumping on bandwagons and if you're not on it, then you'll be fucking obliterated. Especially the Pyrocynical situation, since that's the one that I remember the most. Creators like Prison made look doing nothing but repeating what others have already said about the topic and not even researching about the situation. Toxicity has always been a problem in the community for quite a long time. We creators such as Himstar, Dr. Cringe, Exxandra complaining about little things that don't really matter and thinking that it will actually do something or just saying random shit like what Max BT show did with Connect Kitten. This is going to be the last point in this video but I think it's pretty important. So pretty much guys, you may be looking at the name Kaneko Kitten and wondering what does Kaneko mean? Well pretty much kitten just means kitten as an animal. But Kaneko is actually a high school anime girl which is you know pretty sexualized and stuff like that. You know I'm not calling Kaneko Kitten a pedophile of course I mean I'm not implying anything. This is best applied to the rock side when he made a video about commentary community bad, which is true. But the video is more unstructured than a broken building. In my opinion, the commentary community is horrible. And I'm pretty sure like most of you guys watching can agree. Now, he even admitted to being a snake and he says he'll continue doing it because he doesn't care about his reputation. Which is ironic because after I called him out on Twitter, he just blocked me. Which yeah, proves he cares. Two minutes in. And that video's at like 127 dislikes right now. I mean, it's not like I care about dislikes, but but they're just proving my point about banning wagons by disliking it without even watching the whole video and listening to my point. He just sounds desperate in this video, like his points, like how people dislike before actually watching the entire video, all of that stuff. Like, have you thought that, you know, maybe they dislike after watching the entire video? But his points are genuinely bad. Now, I'm not going to talk more about this dude because I'm literally just talking about a month old situation and. When YouTubers are going against each other, they will often bring up their orientation as an argument and that's completely unnecessary. You're supposed to criticize, not being brain dead. Now, let's move on to channels. I feel like Dr. Crane's way of talking about topics makes him stick out and unique from most commentary channels. Yes, being batshit crazy and mindlessly insulting people makes him a unique channel. Having a seizure is very unique and differentiates him from other creators. All he does is literally just complain about artists doing their own thing when it doesn't even affect him in any way. Obsessing over TikToks while being obnoxious. The literal definition of a toxic prick.
this guy makes someone's hair fishing and that person being technoblade and he recently uploaded a video addressing his inactivity on youtube the reason behind it is him having cancer and brussel here thinks that making 100 videos on techno's cancer is good and acceptable it's really not profiting off someone's cancer isn't really good no, or acceptable you're just a big f***ing asshole who does nothing but make someone's health for easy money then tries to cover it up by responding to trolls making it seem like Brussels is the good guy here they're both wrong you know trolls be trolls saying nothing but bullshit for attention they're not worth your time they're just a bunch of attention seekers innit Originally, I was going to say that he has improved after watching his video about changing his content. He basically addressed a lot of shit in it, and that was cool. So pretty much, I no longer really want to make all of these rant videos because over the past few months, the only content on this channel I've been making are rant videos and commentary channel. But I don't know, I feel like it's just the same, and I feel like you guys deserve way better content from me. Because, you know, I have all of this potential, and I just pour it into making the same bullshit every day. All of the videos are like, Oh, this person has bad thumbnails. Oh, this is repetitive when I really don't care. But turns out, I was trolled. Not only did he ignore what he said in that video, he's just repeating the same shit over and over again. And it's the same as the other videos. He will say, I'm not trying to imply anything while putting pedo in the title. You don't know much about Scrimzox. All you need to know is that uh, when a 15 year old girl posts about her new socks, then uh, he likes her tweet. And, uh, you know, I I'm not implying anything. So pretty much, guys, you may be looking at the name Kaneko Kitten and wondering what does Kaneko mean? Well, pretty much, kitten just means kitten as an animal but kaneko is actually a high school anime girl which is you know pretty sexualized and stuff like that you know i'm not calling kaneko kitten a pedophile of course. calling someone a pedophile or a groomer isn't something you can just play around with so what game are you playing in the background looks fun Speaking of fun, if you get called a pedophile, obviously it wouldn't be fun, right? You don't know what the impact of what it can do. You're just throwing it around like just a normal word like fuck or cum. You probably know him from the Call Me Carson situation since he's the guy that started it by going to Kim Star. After the whole situation happened, he's basically just going insane. Just like prison mate look, he spreads bullshit and lies, dragging people into the situation when they're not even involved like at this point, he's, he's just trying to get into trouble. Even Josh who had to come in and tell Noah to stop saying shit, he's just making shit up about Miskif bringing Carson into OTK and forcing him to come onto the stream to revive him as seen in this video i also had a, a content creator call me and tell me to not talk about the carson thing anymore because everyone's on the same page and then i literally went to everybody and i was like okay so here's what's gonna happen otk is gonna bring carson in they're gonna try and revive him and they were like oh you're insane and that happened and i was like yeah no that's why that guy threatened me about that he's really just an image prick obsessed with drama and fame Miskif literally said that him going on stream wasn't even planned and that he came to their house for charity with Maya. He came over for one thing and one thing only. Not me, okay? Don't think I invited him here and was like, dude, let's do this. He came over for one reason. It's to, uh, he wants to do a thing of charity with Maya. That's it. Remember when he endorsed Justin Wang for making a sexual joke about an underage content creator? It's pretty hypocritical of Noah to complain about Stan sexualizing minors when he did it too. Even as a joke, it's very f***ing weird and it made Renbu uncomfortable and it led to him deleting the tweet. Before we jump straight into what Kim Star really said, I'm going to give you a bit of context. So basically, he's dating a woman that's like 20 plus, which is perfectly fine. It's personally, I, I don't understand why Twitter is going crazy about the fact that Kim Star is dating an adult. I get where they're from. It's a bit weird, but this isn't illegal. Twitter were attacking Kimstar for that reason and demands the local gnome to date a girl his age. And of course, the man being Kimstar will fuck up every time. In this suite, he basically mocks women that are in the picture. So you would think, what exactly is wrong? Well, it's pretty obvious that using someone's picture without consent just to mock them is already bad. But the bigger issue is this two women in, this, in the picture are taken from a missing person posted. And they are also found out to be 
dead. And of course, Kimstar pulls a very Kimstar move. Oh, what's that? I use photos of missing person that were found out to be dead. Nah, that's not important. Getting 4 million impressions on that same tweet. Oh, hell yeah, this is so cool. Let me just ignore what fucked up data I just did and shrug it off like it's some sort of a Twitter moment. Now, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and goodbye.